Hello viewers of Wasteland TV and today I want to share with you the Forever People number three volume one one of Jack Kirby's classic comics it's an odd choice to share a comic this old because what I found interesting about it after I read it last night is the fact that it has kind of a pertinent storyline about beware of the justifiers their next victim might be you or the forever people they believe they judge they kill and these are people that follow verbatim the words of of Godfrey Gord of a good uh, glorious Godfrey of dark sides people I'm sorry the comic ain't in the best of shape, but I got it in this condition. It was it's a good reader. Cause how often do you find Jack Kirby art? That's the trade off. And the justifiers are people that believe in anti life. They're, they're trying to change Earth for the betterment of Dark Side. And so the furry people are going to try to stop them. And these justifiers don't realize that they've become human bombs for uh, to destroy uh, people of, a po of uh, the new, go new uh, Genesis. But the, the, the thing that's interesting about it is the fact that Glorious Godfrey is kind of like what are how our modern politicians talk, and the justifiers are basically kind of remind me a lot of BML Antifa. They're mindlessly attacking people like zombies, not not questioning, not having any opinion, but the fact is might makes right, and in the end what Gloria Scottry says is the right thing to do. And it's all in the name of Dark Side for his anti-life equation. And so, it was just, like I said, this, this issue came out in 19... Uh, shoot, I can't see. It's so old and this light's so bad in the house. 1971 is when they had th th this issue came out and this is almost close to 50 years since from where this idea of thinking came from to what's happening today in media and in society and it even opens with a quote from Adolf Hitler that is Okay, the quote is, that is the great thing about our movement. That these members are uniformed, not only in ideals, but even the facial expression is almost the same. Adolf Hitler. And it makes you, it, it made me stop to think about what is really happening in the world right now. You know, if in 1971... Jack Kirby was pointing this out. Did this, did these paranoid sci-fi writers see something we didn't? Or was these fanciful ideas of society that possibilities that played played out as good versus evil never realizing the undertones that this can actually happen? It's really really hard to say because today's comics are all about social justicing now and they don't have quite the same feeling or even merit that comic books had even 10 years ago. And this one's a almost a 50 year old comic. And that says something. And it says something about Jack the King Kirby that, you know, we, we always talk about Stanley, but we never talk about the King as much as we should. And and how he gave us all these characters. 
We may not see the forever people anymore or ever at in our lifetimes. But we do see uh, Glorious Godfrey in many forms of media. He was in the new Wonder Woman film. He was in Smallville. And we have Darkseid appearing in the Justice League uh, Zack Snyder cut. And on a side note, I noticed that Infinite Man very much resembles Zodiac from Master of the U. But it's just one of those things is that the thinking behind it, the whole the whole thing is are we running out of ideas or has society caught up to the ideas? That's the big, big question here now. So until next time, this is the sounding board signing off.